Mark Cuban just dropped a reality check that nobody in Silicon Valley wants to hear. If AI is going to destroy white collar jobs, he says, then shouldn't we already be seeing occupancy decline in office buildings? End quote. Now, the man has a point. I don't agree with Cuban on everything, but we've got Cursor hitting $100 million revenue faster than OpenAI. Claude Code is promising to replace entire dev teams and every single startup claiming their AI agent will 10x your productivity. But here's the uncomfortable truth. After watching hundreds of developers try these tools, I'm seeing the same pattern I witnessed during the dot-com bubble. Shiny demos, viral Twitter threads, massive funding rounds, but when you look at the actual production software being built, the emperor has no clothes. So today I'm breaking down why even the best AI coding tools are hitting a wall that nobody really wants to talk about. Let's dive into this today. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Pack, we train software developers and build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. So Cuban's question cuts right to the heart of AI hype machines. If these tools were really replacing developers of scale, we'd see it in the data. Instead, we're seeing AI companies burning through billions while fundamental, uh, while fundamental software engineering challenges remain unsolved. So let me drop a comment here. Now, as always, make sure you drop a comment because my favorite thing is when you comment down below and I read every single one of them. So let's uh, let's take a look at this here. Now, Mark Cuban uh, dropped this truth bomb here, right? He was like, if AI is going to destroy white collar jobs first, shouldn't we already be seeing occupancy decline in office buildings, particularly in big cities where large employers are primarily based? Or am I missing something? Now, again, I don't agree with Cuban on a lot of things, but this I thought was a really fair point, right? Because if that's the case, and we're seeing all of these, you know, mass runoff of jobs, why is occupancy still just, you know, pretty high? So AI can generate impressive looking code snippets and solve specific programming problems in isolation. But building actual software requires understanding your users' needs, system architecture, and business logic. So I've seen teams spend weeks fixing the technical debt that AI tools create with their quick solutions. Cursor and Claude Code excel at easy 80% of code tasks, but struggle with the complex 20% that defies software quality, that defines the quality of software, right? So real software engineering involves debugging, production issues, optimi optimizing performance, and maintaining code over years, right? Hand it an old .NET set of code and mix with, a, with some new stuff and then throw some AI tools on top of it and see how Claude and, uh, and, and Cursor work with it, right? Now, writing code is maybe 30% of a, what a software developer does. The rest is planning, testing, deployment, maintenance, et cetera. So these AI tools work great on greenfield projects with simple requirements and clean code bases, but try to use them on legacy systems with millions of lines of code and watch them fall apart. So I've tested Claude code on our clients, Claude on our clients' production systems, and it gets lot and it gets lost in the complex business logic every single time. The tools can't understand the why behind architectural decisions made by teams over years of evolution. They miss critical dependencies, ignore security patterns, and break existing integrations. When your code base has 18,000 line React components, and yes, they do exist, I'm not saying they're a good idea, but they exist, then AI agents just give up. Now, I, and a lot of times it starts to do some refactors that just immediately breaks tons of old existing stuff. Not to mention all the core connecting, uh, you know, unit tests and, and integration tests that are tested to it. So the most successful de development teams aren't replacing developers with AI. They're augmenting human capabilities. So don't get me wrong, folks. Where everybody comes at me and starts adding me and be like, "What well, cursor and call out and look." These are great tools. I'm not saying you shouldn't be using them, but they're not going to replace developers. Cursor works because it keeps humans in the loop, not because it automates everything away. I'm watching experienced developers use tools to handle boilerplate while focusing on architecture and problem solving. This is the right way to do it. Teams getting 10 time productivity gains are those using AI for code generation while humans handle system design and code reviews and other parts. AI handles some of the repetitive tasks, things like uh, refactoring individual functions, or building out boilerplate code or unit tests and other type of things where experienced developers handled the creative and strategic thinking. This isn't developer replacement, it's developer amplification for those who know how to use it. Now, demo videos show AI building entire applications in minutes, but none of those apps are, are running in production. Get it from working on, it works on my machines to it scales to a million users is where AI tools are not going to do the work. Performance optimization, security hardening, monitoring, and error handling are still deeply human skills. 
So I've seen AI generated code that works perfectly in development, but crashes under production loads. Database optimization, caching strategies, and infrastructure scaling requires understanding that current AI lacks. The tools can write CRUD and basic CRUD operations, but can't architect systems that handle real business complexity. Now, I want to jump over to this article here because I, I really like this article, and so shout out to the author here. But he says he's built around 300 agents, worked at five startups. Here's what he's learned about AI. Now, he goes through and he details some of this, right? And, he, and he's talking about a lot of these parts, and it, you know, he's going to get into memory and a lot of other things. But I kind of want to jump to his conclusion here because this is the part that I really wanted to talk about. AI agents are still early. So this is somebody who has, again, you know, used 300 agents, right? The hype is real, but so are the challenges, okay? What excites me the most is that we're moving from research choice to infrastructure level systems. In the future, and I can't understate that in the future enough, because that's what I seem to hear over and over from people who are using them. Well, it's going to be better in the future, okay? Like, in the future, every product will likely have agents running behind the scenes, coordinating tasks, personalizing experiences, and handling complexity humans don't want to deal with. I've made mistakes, learned lessons, and seen both success and failure. If there's one takeaway, it's this. Agents are not the product. They're the enabler. I agree with him here. The magic comes when you embed them into workflows where they disappear into the background and just work. Now, the just work is a little bit of an overstatement here, and that takes a lot of work to get them to just work, right? And Mark Cuban's office occupancy question reveals the real story. AI isn't replacing developers in droves. Now, I'm going to address the concern with, I've been studying all of the different, the two main reports that are coming out saying that it's replacing junior developers. I'm going to address that one tomorrow, so make sure you stay, like and subscribe and stay tuned tomorrow. But it does make, the AI is making good developers more valuable. Junior developers who learn how to leverage AI effectively are working just as well as seniors who ignore these tools. Now, I'm going to get all the seniors who come at me right now and be like, but the seniors actually know how to use them more. And yeah, that may be true for some of the seniors. But the developers who are being replaced were already struggling with fundamental engineering concepts anyways. Those were the ones who were still relying on Stack Overflow. And now they're just relying on AI to try to do it all for them. Companies are hiring future junior developers because AI can handle some of those entry level, level tasks. But I don't think that's the only reason, right? And the other thing is they're, they're paying more for senior talent that knows how to build these AI systems. The market is bifurcating. AI savvy developers are commanding premium rates while others are getting left behind. It's not about AI replacing humans. It's about humans who use AI replacing humans who don't. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, make sure you reach out because our specialty is connecting systems so your company can work to maximum efficiency. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer and we can help you out. Now, AI coding tools are fundamentally reactive. They respond to prompts, but can't proactively design system architecture. They lack the experience to know when to choose microservice versus monolith, SQL versus NoSQL, or synchronous versus asynchronous patterns. So I've seen AI tools suggest architectures that work for demo apps, but collapse under real world constraints. They can't make trade-offs between performance, maintainability, and development speed. <clears throat> now, system design requires understanding business requirements, team capabilities, and long-term scalability needs. These strategic decisions require human judgment and wisdom that current AI is not going to have, and probably never will. There will always be humans behind the machines. AI tools can write code fast, but they're terrible at writing comprehensive tests. They miss edge cases, they don't understand integration complexities, and they can't predict failure scenarios. So after 25 years in building after after 25 years of building software, I know that untested code is just as expensive technical is just expensive technical debt waiting to explode. Now, converting business requirements into working software requires understanding domain expertise that AI lacks. These tools can't clarify questions about ambiguous requirements or spot inconsistencies in specifications. They don't understand regulatory compliance, industry standards, or business process optimization. They may not understand that one little brittle bit that's still out there that nobody wants to touch and that we're not going to touch that piece of code and it could refactor it. Real software development involves constant communication with stakeholders as well as other systems to refine and adjust solutions. AI tools assume perfect requirement specifications, but real world business requirements are always evolving. So the most valuable de developers are those who can bridge business needs with technical implementation. I get told a lot of times that my teams work really well with businesses who make sure that we under, because we understand the business as well as the technology. Now, AI generated code often includes security vulnerabilities that would make any CISO nervous. These tools don't understand threat module models, 
data privacy regulations or industry specific compliance requirements. I've seen AI suggest solutions that violate GDPR, HIPAA, and PCI DSS without any warning. They miss authentication edges, leaving SQL injection vulnerabilities and ignore proper sanitization. So pro production software requires security reviews, penetration testing, and compliance auditing. Now, writing code is just the beginning. Maintaining and debugging production systems is where real engineering happens. So AI tools can't debug complex production issues that involve multiple systems, race conditions, or performance bottlenecks. So AI tools are optimized for generation, not comprehension. And maintenance of complex systems requires a high level of comprehension. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, make sure you reach out because uh, here at Startup Pack, our specialty is connecting those systems for you. Now, current AI tools are pattern matchers trained on existing code, not creative problem solvers. They excel at implementing known solutions, but struggle with novel technical challenges. When you need to solve problems that haven't been solved before, AI tools become useless. They can't research new technologies, evaluate trade-offs, or pioneer innovative solutions. The most valuable engineering work involves solving unique business problems that require creative thinking. AI might help implement solutions, but identifying and designing those solutions remain deeply human. Now, I'm curious to hear you guys' thoughts. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love to have a great discussion and I read all the comments. So make sure you comment down below and make sure you like and subscribe. Here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers as well as build custom software solutions for companies. So reach out because we'd love to help. Check us out at startuppack.com slash Spencer and here's some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't we don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems. It positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com Spencer.